Well, I explained to Panther before that the kitten isn't his replacement. I explained to Panther already the kitten's not his replacement. <laughs> it's Domino's replacement because the kitten technically is black and white. He's not a totally black cat. So. There's your little white patch over there, right? Well, he's got white, like, two, two little white toes. Well, you said there's no such thing as a black cat, right? Or a true. Yeah, Panther's got white on Shadow's got white on Not much. A couple of little flakes of white fur. You didn't think that so? Uh oh, Bill? Does he know? What happened last? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Where? Does he know he's getting a pill? <laughs> oh, yeah. Little bits. What are you doing to me? Little bits. Where the hell is it? Right here, see? Yeah. <laughs> little bits of white fur. Yeah. Oh, poor buddy. And what about you, huh? Are you going to be good the next week? Huh? Are you going to behave yourself? Yeah? You gonna... At least you didn't have to search the house for him this week. Hi uh, there, little spike, a lucky spike, yeah. <laughs> Got a toe fetish. Ah. Everyone wants to want to bite him. Oh, he's up, he's up, he's moving, he's moving. Yeah. No biting toesies, that's not nice, that's Domino's job. Time to move to the high rise. <laughs> yep. Move to the high rise. Ugh. <laughs> Don't forget your fruit basket there, Scott. Huh? Not the big one. No, I can't eat that much. No, he had a, uh, the big one he got earlier. Reminding me. Uh, we'll be back here in 20 minutes or so, waking Mike up out of bed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I'm wondering where they dumped that garbage out here. I ran away. Oh, there's a hole out of me. Fuck, fuck, fuck. $40 fruit basket gone. <laughs> Can you pick that up? Like, oh, yes, I can. <laughs> can you just think that yes, I will swing that? Killing the spider webs. <laughs> Where's the box? Rigid, 3,000 pound per square inch, 2.6 GPM. So uh, Mike found out that uh, they buy them, use them two or three times, and then buy another one. What? Well, return it, you know. Oh, yeah. Just, they not have the same problem. What, with the coverage? Well, mm. oh, that's common because of that damn fucking ethanol fuel. So you it know? sits for one year, and then the next year, <laughs> it's uh, brand new, and I didn't use it twice. That's what he said, three times yeah. he just didn't. Well, because that's the problem, he didn't use it. He let the gas sit in the damn carburetor and gum the shit out of it. Yeah, so even though there's a hole in the jet, it's, it's still... Yeah. You got to use the damn the stabilizer in there. The stuff made for the ethanol fuel, otherwise it's going to gun the shit out of it. I mean, I'll let Patsy, I, uh, especially if he buys it, I goddamn sure will not charge him an arm and a leg. Jeez, of all people, but, you know, I figured the thing was nice enough. 
Mm. Let's see the engine on this. What year is this? Ten years. Well, this is a V twin in this thing. It's not a straight uh, or a single uh, one lunger rather. Oh, I don't know. It's a Kohler. I don't know. We well, must know it's two cylinders. Oh yeah, I know. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah. Now the other one I got on there is a one cylinder now. Oh, is it? Yeah, my other one is a twin cylinder. Did you buy that new? Yeah, he bought this, this new. Yeah. About what, eight, ten years ago? Oh, at least ten. Yeah. Before I moved to the house. See, actually, you're ready to buy a new tractor now, no? no. Yeah. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. No, no, no. Uh, you should replace it before it breaks. That's the whole thing. Ten years now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mike. All right, see you. Till next week. Is that all gravel on here? Right? Yep. Feels like I'm driving on uh, train tracks. <laughs> or rumble strips. I know, Mike was complaining about it earlier. That was town dust things up here. They said it's brand new pavement that they here. And then they came in and threw this shit down on top of it with some tar. Not really sure why. <laughs> God damn. It's a corduroy road. Hundred and what do you got? Hundred and ten thousand six hundred and forty six miles. All the way up the hill. What the hell is all this? <laughs> you know those little steamrollers from 1888? Mm -hmm. That's what it looks like rolled through here, the, the tread. Oh, yeah, yeah, no. going to Erie, Pennsylvania hmm. around end of the month. Oh. What are you going there for? Uh, don't have an exact date. Uh, to go visit her cousin who is 88 years old. Oh, wow. Driving? Yes. About oh. 12 hours. Damn, that's a long drive. Well, it's clear across. Uh, can she stand to be sitting in the car that long? Yes, she can. She's an excellent driver. Once she's Not in the car. Not her. I'm talking can... about with her back problems. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I know for me that would be a killer. And of course, all and then of course uh, all the road stops in the world. I did this trip once before, um, and I took Ed's car. Who's Ed? Uh, he's the cousin. Oh. What kind of cars you got? Well, a new car. I haven't seen it yet. Oh. The old car was. Give me a minute. 2006 or 2009. Something comfortable, I hope. Ford Escort. That's not very comfortable. Stick shift. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That God. Was right. So now, 
he can't see, he can hear, uh, and he's gonna follow her 12 miles back to Erie? I said, I don't think so. So we talked him into, I said, Ed, I have an idea. Why don't you ride up front with Jane in her car? I'll follow you in the, in your car. And he's like, no, 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 no. And I was like, so finally I came in a different door, as my mom says. Uh -huh. And I said, look, this is not about you. I said, we're not trying to take your car, but, and then finally I said, you know, there's gonna be multiple restroom breaks. We'll stop for dinner. She's, you know, as I said, you're gonna take turns and lefts or what if you get lost, you don't have a cell phone. So then he like, just like doesn't look at me. And then about five minutes ago, he goes, yeah, all right. You know what, you're right. Okay, you know what, that is a good idea. I said, you enjoy the ride, I'll be behind you. You pull over, I'll pull over with you, done. Mm -hmm. And that's what we did. Why you have to drive two cars out there? Well, um, well, he was on his way home. Oh, he lives out he, there. He, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. He's visiting. Oh, I see. So of course it's pouring fucking rain. He doesn't know where he's at. He cooked the clutch, huh. you know, and oh, twenty-eight thousand miles. He fried, fried the clutch. Oh, so, man. do you like ride the clutch? I, I don't think so. Uh -huh. And then of course when we got the car, so then, so she calls me up and. He's somewhere over in 59, I'm like, 59? The, 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 you know, Rockland. So my cousins live over there, it's over the Tappazee Bridge, and <laughs> he doesn't know what bridge he came over, it was dark, <laughs> it's raining, these guys shouldn't be on, if there was nobody on the road, and it was broad daylight, and it was life after people except for him, he should <laughs> not be driving, okay? With nobody on the road, and the roads are clear, he, full tank of gas, he should not be driving. Oh, man. That never less a clutch. So he's gotten rid of the escort, he's got a new car now. Yep, got a new car, an automatic. Let's hope it's not a micro something, <laughs> otherwise you're gonna have it unfortunately. Well no no, we're we're driving out to see him. Oh. So So I said absolutely. We'll go out there and you know yeah. rough it for a few weeks. I said, take this all the way out there? No, no, uh this will be in the garage, we'll take going out in her car. Oh, uh, what's she drive? Toyota Corolla and no. oh seven oh eight on so, About the same size as this. A little bit bigger, yeah. To me, it's, well, it's, it's Mike's car, it's the same car Mike has. Yes, yeah. yeah. I mean, I get the car, it seems a little bigger. Yeah, it probably is slightly. The only thing I hate is a shifter. It's a stick? No, it's a, you gotta go like oh, this. Oh, uh, This is just, uh -huh. I wonder if we'll see The Walking Dead tonight over here at Cousins. <laughs> like last week. <laughs> wow, bright out tonight. Must be moon hiding up there somewhere. I think they said this week the moon has its uh, optical illusion where it looks closer. Uh -huh. Saw it on the news. Oh, my favorite is you hear about the woman who drove uh, into the Long Island firehouse with a python wrapped around her neck? Nope. So she steals, uh, I think it was a, a 20 foot python from, uh, oh, you get the moon? I got it. Yeah, she steals a 20 foot python from a pet smart. Then she's making her escape. The thing finds its way around her neck, <laughs> crashes in to the firehouse, crashes to the door, smashes into the fire truck, and then of course she got a DUI because she was drunk and she was high on marijuana. And theft. And theft, right? So then she gets into court, she pleads not guilty. Nice. Unbelievable. So of course they got the snake back and the fire department's like, yep, thousands of dollars worth of damage. Oh yeah. And then the other one was like some multi-billion dollar house with like uh, closet space bigger than the whole fucking uh, junkyard there and walk-in closets and everything uh -huh. and then a week later the place got robbed nice <laughs> and the cops said it was probably because you know it was on TV and they then that night they forgot to set the, the security alarm and and they got taken for like god knows how much
Yeah, so I'll let you guys know when I'm going out there. Yeah. Uh, if there's anything from here, E1, let me know. I can't imagine anything out there in Erie I'm aware of. Uh, we'll be about a hundred or so miles from Niagara Falls and about a hundred miles from Cleveland. Yeah. So she's like, well, we'll go see some of my cousins out there. I'm like, okay. <laughs> I just hope it ain't some of these parts of Cleveland I'm seeing on TV. Start shipping wiper motors tomorrow. Ten of ten, and then what? And then Look, when he needs another ten, you let me know. Hmm. That'll help clean out the shelves, huh? Yeah. You gonna start with the shelves? Yeah. Oh, definitely. One of the divers plans to do a 400 foot dive tomorrow. Hmm. This is too bad. There's nothing on video because it's so fucking murky and dark. Well, he hopes to find a tunnel down there to explore. Hmm. At 400 foot level, better him than me. So he's going down. That's well, that's almost to the bottom. You just said it's 650. I guess I don't know. They haven't found the bottom yet. Hmm. There's gonna be two divers. Actually, one's gonna wait at the 250 foot level. Hmm. Now are they starting on the edge, or they go right to the middle? Uh, all over the place, actually. Wherever they think there's a deep spot, that's where they dive off. Directly under the dock, I think there's a like a, not a shelf, but like a slope about 170 to 180 foot down, maybe close to 200. It just slopes like a ski slope? A little bit. Then there's a drop off about 20 feet out from the dock, there's a drop off into the abyss. Too bad they couldn't like do like a CGI thing and say this is what it looks like without the water. Well, I don't know if he can do that or not, but he is a professional in that. That's what he does for a living is photography and portraits and video and all kinds of shit like that. Man, you can almost drive without the headlights. Yeah, that's right, man. Look at that. Yeah, you better put it back on before a cop sees it. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously, but the dash lights are blinding me, but I can drive yeah. without the... Uh... We'll save that for after the zombie apocalypse when we're trying to keep a low <laughs> profile on the road. You said they had like a little sonar thing, right? A little propeller uh, thing? Um, no, they don't have an ROV. What they have is uh, a sounder, basically. That's what they've been using, trying to find the deep spots. Oh, I thought, I thought they had a little ROV tour. No, 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 no. That, that was the cop said that. Oh. And the security's in his usual spot with his fog lights on. Mm -hmm. Oh. And parking lights, actually. on real quick.
Walmart pack got me the truck. You pick out some here, some there. What? The little thing there. What little thing? His truck. Pick out what? You said you wonder how far he got? Yeah. So you, he's a bitch. He's picking at it here and there. No, he had, he has a plan actually. I think he's doing the manifolds now, but I don't know how far he got one. Yeah, well, was having. Well, that's what I'm saying. How, how long is he staying on it? Like a couple well, hours a day? Uh, when he can, he hasn't been there all that's weekend. That's what I mean. He's got Monday through Friday with yeah, work. Yeah. Well, he was there the other day actually. He was there after work the other day, but he, he's waiting on some parts. He had to wait on a manifold, some shit with the brakes, and probably the dipstick, and some other shit. Oh, that's what I forgot. What? Jane has a request for you. Yes. To put three or four or five things on eBay for her. Depends on what they are. Uh, tiny little, like this. Little. I mean, what are they? <laughs> uh, the first one is 16 millimeter reel of, give me a minute, football, not football follies, fo um, football parade, 1949 in, in the original case. That's the first one. It's it's a whole re and it, and it works. Mm -hmm. Uh, that's the first one. Then the second one she has is uh, from the very, very late 50s or extremely early 60s. Uh, you know, when you buy little lunch bags from Kraft, and the box is like uh, about this thick. I really, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, that. and then very pretty good. And it looks like something right out of like 1961, 1958. It's got that and like two other things. Oh, crap, what is it? Like two or three other things. Uh, Oh, so we looked all four of them up, and each thing on eBay apparently is going from anywhere from thirty to sixty dollars. I don't know anything about these things. So. Um, that's that's what she, that's what we found on eBay, and except ours are in better condition uh, and have the packages. Uh, now, did you check sold listings or uh, what people are looking for? It's two entirely I did different things. Not either. Because anybody can ask anything for shit on eBay, but what right. you do, you never pay attention. To what people are asking. asking what's it actually selling. You go, you click on sold listings and to see what that item has sold, if it has sold. I'll bring her over and show them to you if she said, because I, I didn't give her an answer yeah. yes or no. I said, I'll, show, I'll ask yeah, him. Yeah, you can ask And then I'll show him. I don't have a lot of experience with this kind of stuff, you know. The stuff I sell is more my own hobby stuff. I don't really know much right. about uh, 16 millimeter film or, you know. Well, they ask you, like I said, I'll, I'll let you look at it and then yeah. uh, list the. Uh, I said he knows how to put stuff on and sell it, and then if it sells, yeah. it sells, it does, it doesn't. So I said, I'll ask, because I, I totally forgot about that. Because I guess every time with the boxes, I was like, see, you can sell this stuff. Well, I got to see what he says. So I'll, yeah, it's, I'll show them to you. And it's, yeah. Totally forgot to bring them up. Yeah, I'm better with things like watches, clocks, guns, well, it's simple stuff, car you know, parts, yeah. knickknacks. Stuff yeah. you know that's going to sell. Yeah. Like the Kisco items, yeah. Actually, this stuff you have sounds somewhat, somewhat like it does, yeah, yeah. Well, we looked at it, and yeah. that stuff is there, so. I'll, I'll put it in a little box, I'll bring it up next week, I'll show it to you. Yeah. I totally, totally freaking forgot. He's got that great song. I thought you had internet access. Well, I do. Well, we looked. Uh, then why aren't you selling them? I, I buy like three things off of eBay a year. Oh. The last things, do you know what the last thing that I bought off of eBay was? What? Those bumper stickers that you or Mike got. <laughs> that was the last thing. What do I? What the hell do I need off of eBay? I just, off? I said sell. Oh, oh, oh. No, that was her stuff. Um, no, the last two things I wanted were those two bumper stickers, and I got them, and that's it, and I'm done. That was that was the two that I wanted. That was the logo when I joined. It was it's not just a job; it's an adventure. <laughs> Well, that's the one they've been making fun of for years, you know? Yeah. It's not a job, it's an adventure! You know, <laughs> something bad is happening in the background. Oh, oh uh, Under Siege, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. shit well, like that. That was 91, so that was the logo that, yeah. that had just gone out. That was, uh, uh, that would be 80, about 82, 83 to about 89, 90. Then, then it was move up, not out, stay Navy, and they changed it. And, yeah, that's, that's the bumper sticker that I wanted, and I got it, and that was it. I, I, you know. No, she went through this uh, box of stuff, and she had all this like real to real, and it was all, you know, this, that, Cleveland, Las Vegas from the fifties and sixties. So we took it to a um, uh, 
reel to reel and put it on DVD thing. And then that was in there. He says, well, you know, what's this? And Football Parade 1949, selling for about $30, $40. So Not selling, asking. Asking. Well, I, again, I, I'll have to look it up again. You know, I do the same thing. You know, I'll put something on there. If I can't figure out what it's worth, I'll ask what my imagination can come up with, you know. And then I'll see if it sells. And if it sits there three, four, five weeks, it doesn't move, then I know. Mm -hmm. A little too much. I'll drop it ten bucks, twenty bucks, or whatever. And it's got the it's got the original cardboard. Sooner or later, you hit the magic number. It may take a while, but sooner or later, you do hit. You find out what people will pay for something. That might be five dollars. You might start at mm -hmm. five hundred. Who the hell knows? You know, selling my own shit, I don't care because I'll I'll just keep dropping the price till it finally fucking sells. You know, I can't do that with the old man stuff too much because he has a certain idea what he wants. My friend in Tennessee said she said she was watching something for uh, three months. Sure. That happens all the time. And then the guy was like asking ridiculous. Uh huh. Took fucking forever oh, to yeah. come down to win three dollars. Finally, he came down to to the, I think twenty six dollars. Yeah. Said okay, now I'll buy it. She got it. Mm -hmm. So I'm not buying. You know. <laughs> I'm watching several things that way right now. He relisted it. Then relisted like, like four, for like three months. He's two and a half months. He's watching this. I'm like, ah, ah. Right. and she got it. Now I put that Danbury Mint model of Christine mm. on there. Started at 350 bucks. You bought it? When did you buy it? Oh God, years ago. How much? I think it was like 100, you know, whatever it was back then. I put it on 350 bucks. Nobody looked at it. Now is it just the I, car and the pedestal, or just? The no, car? no, it's the car in the original Danbury Mint box with the paperwork mm. and everything. And uh, it's in mint condition, of course. Nice. How many Christine cars are on there? Oh, there's usually two or three, and they generally tend to sell. Hmm. In, in the two hundred and fifty to three hundred fifty dollar range, nice. depends. So you're asking three fifty because you got the title. I started with three fifty, dropped it to fucking three hundred after a month or two, nothing. Now it's down to two fifty. Really? And okay. I got all of a sudden I have a whole crop of watchers. Uh. So now I know I've hit the magic number. So when you put it on there, is it buy it now or that was the reserve? No, was actually, it's a buy it now at this point. Originally it was an auction because that was the start. I always start with an auction. But now it's down to a buy it and now. And you put what, like? 16, 250 bucks, buy it now. 16 days, three hours? No, 30 days. 30 day, buy it now, rotation. It'll be there until I cancel it. Hmm. Or somebody buys it. And all of a sudden now... Uh, now it's suddenly picked up a bunch. Last I checked, it was six or seven watches on it. Oh, so bidding war. If, no, no, it's not up for bid. Oh, it's oh, up for buy. It's, it's a buy it now. It's a flat 250. And if somebody buys it, I will turn around and use that to buy the exhaust to my truck. So now the buy it now... How long is the buy it now? 30 for? days. 30 days. And then I'll renew it for another 30 days. Well, what, does it say on there 30 days? Yeah. Hmm. They'll keep counting down 29, 28, 27, 30. So, when did the, so what happens in the last day or two? Somebody might buy it or I'll just relist it. I'm not going to drop it lower to 250 bucks. That's the bottom price. So you're just going to relist it again? I'll just keep relisting it. Sooner or later, you know, you got the right person comes along. Because, like you said, they're selling for 300 right? Sometimes. 